Welcome everyone. Aloha. <laughs> Welcome to Center for Spiritual Living Kauai. I'm Reverend Rita. For those of you who don't know me, this is Reverend Patrick, my husband and co-spiritual director. And over there are Michael and Carrie Fox. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Our music directors and um, their friend Nicole, who's going to be playing, I guess, today. So that's awesome. We love that. So um, welcome. And what we're going to do first before we get started started is we are going to invite up Michelle LeMay, and she is going to give us our announcements before we start. And Michelle is a practitioner student, and also she is on our board of trustees. Michelle? Yay. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. We have an abundant week. You think we're usually busy. <laughs> this week with the holiday, we have a lot going on. So, of course, we always have our bookstore. This month, it's 20% off all Ernest Holmes books for the month of November. We also only have 10 calendars left. 10? Still 10? 9? 10? 8? Going once? Going twice? Going fast? <laughs> and so this is all photos that Sue Buckley took and tied in with Ernest Holmes quotes. And it is actually a fundraiser for CSL. So there's only 10 more. So today they will most likely sell out. So if you are wanting them for yourself or for a gift, know that you're also supporting the center by doing that because they're $15 each and $10 of that comes back to the center. So really they're just paying for the shipping and the cost of doing it. So thank you for doing that for us too. And, uh, and if you haven't checked them out, they're beautiful photo so yeah and Sue Sue's all getting all shy <laughs> we also have Thanksgiving cards that Loya has created in the bookstore we have local authors we have all sorts of goodies and then we also have another table that's our information table that has signups for events that are happening and information about CSL we have after service today, our Ladies in Consciousness Circle will be meeting in here. And then the Men's Mindful Treehouse will meet somewhere out there, preferably in a pavilion where you guys are safe from the weather. But it's just a way to get together and gather uh, as a group. So we'll do that today. And before that, we're actually going to be celebrating birthdays. It is a week early. We usually do it the last Sunday, but this month we're going to do all birthday celebration today. And so if anybody has a birthday in November, please raise your hand. We just want to acknowledge you. Yay, Melissa and Judah and Tony. Ah, Petra. Awesome. Well, stay after. We're doing something different other than cake. We are. I know we're known for our cake. We have pumpkin pie. <laughs> it's still sweet and sugary, of course, but so stay to celebrate. We'll sing for everybody's birthday towards the end of service, but then stay for the celebration, and then after that, we'll gather up in our circles. So this week is full. Tuesday is our first next big event, and it's called Action from the Heart. There's definitely been a lot going on with activities that are happening out there. So the idea is to join us for a forum of conscious spiritual social action, because all change ultimately starts within us. And the best change is for us to become peaceful and accepting with what we're going through so that we can then go resonate and share that with the rest of the world. So it's a place to come together to have peaceful discussion. It's a brainstorming session. And really, we're going to tap into what we can do so we can feel good so then that we can go and help others. Because if you really look out there, there are other people that are hurting and confused and not sure what to do as well. So we're going to start. So we're going to start where we are so that we can go out there and help others. So if you know other people who don't necessarily come on Sunday, please invite them for Tuesday because it's definitely something that is inclusive of everybody. And then we are having a special Thanksgiving Eve ceremony here on Wednesday night. It's going to be a circle of Thanksgiving with potluck and poo-poos and music with Michael and Carrie and a message. But it's a way for us to come together. We usually all have our own things on Thanksgiving. So this is going to be Thanksgiving Eve from 7 to 8. So please join us. Join this Ohana to celebrate Thanksgiving and gratitude on Wednesday night. And then Friday night, we have our spiritual cinema. And that's going to be, my name is Bill W. And now the time is a little bit earlier than we usually do, so make note of that. It's at 6.30. And if you don't know who Bill W. is, come Friday night at 6.30 <laughs> and find out. And it's actually a movie. It's not a documentary. So it is a movie and the full story of Bill W. and the starting of the recovery movement. 
And then next Sunday, we're having a huge celebration. It's going to, we're going to be bidding a hui ho to Michael and Carrie as they make their way to the mainland. No, yay. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> we want to support and celebrate them. I hear a lot of groans and a lot of hearts kind of like mm, weeping a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> but we are going to have our service as usual, of course. But then we're going to have an extra special celebration after. So that is why today is the birthday day. But that's also going to be potluck and sharing and just a celebration unfoldment of what it is. So thank you, everybody, for your kind attention. Oh. It's 6.30, 7.30? Okay. Thank you for that because up here it's... So, so 6.30 for the Thanksgiving Eve, and that's also the same time 6.30 for Friday with the movie, and then Action from the Heart is 6. So refer to your, 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 what you have is the current and the correct times. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks for you guys' kind attention, and enjoy your service. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you so much, Michelle. Uh, it's hard to keep those 6, 6.30s and 7s. Most of the time when they're with music, we have to do them after six. So anyway, now we know. <laughs> so um, thank you, Michelle, again. And uh, we are going to invite up Reverend Diane Decker, our staff minister. And she's going to lead us in our quiet time of meditation. So just take a deep breath and let her just take us there. Ah, Good morning, Koi. Take a breath and allow yourself to settle into yourself. Mm. Close your eyes if that feels comfortable. Stare out softly if that feels better. And know that right where you are, you are safe to relax into this time that you give yourself. I'm reading today from Ernest Holmes, Creative Ideas. It is natural that we should wish the abundant life. It is right that we should expect it. God has already made the gift. It is up to us to accept it. God has already made the gift. It is up to us to accept it.
that the gift has already been given. We remember that spirit is everywhere present, in and through all things. Knowing that this is so, it is right where each of us is. It is beating the heart. It is blowing the winds and bringing the rain and waving the ocean. It is in all. And so I align myself with that power, that presence, that love that is in everything, knowing that I stand in it, knowing that I move from it, knowing that I speak its word through me, knowing that it can't be anywhere else. I simply allow it to flow and express through me in a magnificent way. I give thanks for this service today, for everyone coming together and bringing their power, their presence, their love to this place. And I give thanks that each one, being here by divine appointment, has gifts to share. And they do so freely, expressing that one love. And so knowing that it is already done in the mind of God, knowing that it is already accomplished as a perfect, loving event, I am just so blessed. And so I simply release my work and allow it to happen in the right and perfect way. As together we say, and so it is. Thank you, Reverend Diane. That was beautiful. And, um, oops, there's some flowers coming in. Ooh, oh, thank you, Loya. And Loya is the one that has the Thanksgiving cards. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. So um, this is when we light our peace candle, which Reverend Diane has done so graciously. And we're going to do something a little different today. We have a song for you that Patrick and I are going to sing together. And um, mm. it's called Nothing, it's actually called Not While I'm Around. And I want you to think about this song as your heart speaking to you. Of course, I feel, and Patrick, I'm sure you would concur that we would ne never let anyone hurt anyone that we love or any other person if we, I in we just wouldn't do that ever, ever, ever. But there's a place within us that keeps us safe all the time. And to us, that's what this song is about. So, yeah. <coughs> oh, you're beautiful. Nothing's gonna harm you, not while I'm around. Nothing's gonna harm you, no sir, not while I'm around. Demons are prowling everywhere nowadays. I'll send them howling, I don't care. I've got ways No one's gonna hurt you No one's gonna dare Others may desert you Not to worry Whistle, I'll be there Demons will charm you With a smile For a while Nothing can harm you, not while I'm around. Being 
woo, sad and being clever ain't like being true. I don't need to, I would never hide a thing from you like some. No one's gonna hurt you. No one's gonna hurt you. No one's gonna dare. They won't dare. Others can desert you, not I to work the whistle. You. I'll be there. Demons will charm you with a smile for a while, but in time, nothing can harm you. Thank you, Carrie oh, Fox. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. All right. There we go. Here we are. Here we are, Sunday. <laughs> Sunday. Shifting gears Hello, everyone. Now. Hello. Aloha. Um, one thing I do want to say about um, everyone, we're all like still feeling, so <laughs> um, about Tuesday, how important it is. I was dreaming, actually, about it last night, and a title came up for me about the Tuesday night from the action from the heart. And it was about the idea that we're having conversation and it's very important and I was trying to think of the name and it was Solutions, Peaceful Solutions Cafe. <laughs> and this is what we're about. So we're gonna continue them on different nights, different things so people can uh, do it. But I think it is time that we come together and realize that love is the answer, but love also takes action as well. So there you go. So please be here if you can on Tuesday. Yeah. So welcome again to Center for Spiritual Living Kauai where we practice something called the science of mind and spirit. And um, I don't like to think of us as a religion because we don't really follow a religion in that we don't have dogma. If you're here for the first time, you don't know what we're about. We don't have rules and regulations and all those kinds of things. We just have a way of life that we like to to embody, which is to, to embody the divine presence that's within each of us and within our brothers and sisters as we look out. So we know that all of creation, from little fish in the sea to the ocean to everything, is a divine expression of this one power that works through everything in wholeness at all times. And so that's what we practice here, and, and we call it the science of mind and spirit, but in rea reality, it's a universal truth that follows many, many teachings and many cultures and practices. Yes, yep. no rules, except uh, I have a few. <laughs> but okay. It's, a, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who is here, do I dare ask, for the very first time? <laughs> there you are. Welcome, Thank welcome, you for welcome, welcome. So yes, and uh, yeah, yeah, we have so a little something for you, just a little. So just raise your hand back, again. Yeah, just raise your hand. There you go in the back there. Right there. All right. And okay. if you're here for the very first time and you did, oh, right here. I was gonna say, please raise your hand. There's Thank a check you for Deborah. ten thousand dollars. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> 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 yeah. Someday. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be Sooner my big later. surprise someday. <laughs> Everybody will go. I didn't really want to <laughs> do it. And oh. All so right. So. So we know who you are, and we also know a few things about you. So we'd like to share them, if you don't mind, with the congregation. Okay? Yeah? You too? Yeah. Good. Okay, ready? Everyone? You are magnificent! magnificent. All of you. Yes. You're relieved, aren't you? <laughs> 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 yes, yes. And the reason that we know that magnificence about you is because we know it about ourselves. And that is that we are magnificent. So shall we all say it together? I, I am magnificent! magnificent. Yes, indeed. And 
Just so you'll know, you probably don't know this, but there are some eavesdroppers happening right now. There are people peeking in at us as we're in here. Thanks and to Jonathan back there. Thanks to Jonathan back there. We are live streaming, which means <laughs> what? That what happens here doesn't stay yeah, here because it goes out there. So let's say aloha and let them know how magnificent they are. Aloha! You, you are magnificent! magnificent. And we know that they are just watching all cozy in their robes or whatever, drinking coffee. And don't, I don't suggest you do this. <laughs> not on this island. And there yeah. are people on this island, so too. Why don't you turn to somebody yeah. next to you and let them know? Let them know you exactly. can't hear it you enough, right? <laughs> You are magnificent. So. I know. <laughs> wow. All right. That's nice. You two are very magnificent, just so you'll know. Yes. And you, oh, there you are. All righty. So, so I enough of that for a moment, shall we? <laughs> Back to us. <laughs> All right, let's open this, shall we? Yes. Let's open it with music. Everybody can stand if they want to. Yeah, stretch it out, stretch it out. Aloha. <sighs> How's everybody feeling? Good. Good. All right, we're waking up now. All right. Here we go. Had some lullabies in the beginning. Take a deep breath, everyone. We got this. Oh, yeah. When I wake up, I look to the sun. A new thought is within me. In this world, I'm on my mission. that it just moves out into the world. They can't help but feel it all around the world. Wherever there is healing needed, anything like that, we have it right here in our heart, and we just let it shine, shine, shine. So I bless this time together, knowing it is magnificent, that each of us are magnificent in it. As I just say, shine on, and so it is. And I am the love that comes from the sun. Every single ray, sound of space, shine on, shine on, shine on. Yes, I am a love that comes from the sun, and I am a rainbow rising on. Everybody here, singing loud and clear, give love, give love, give love. And I am a love that comes from the sun. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, Michael and Carrie. You hear these guys? What? You hear these choir? Right now? I, know. I know they're getting good. They're getting really good. Wow. 
Is everybody a little cooler today? <laughs> I was so cold last night. I mean, I couldn't believe how cold I was. <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> it's not right. I'm actually wearing leggings. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, okay. So, it's Thanksgiving, right? And our title of our talk today is, Is Your Thanksgiving Table Set? So, um, the fourth step of spiritual mind treatment is thanksgiving. And if you don't know what spiritual mind treatment is, we can talk to you about it that later, Reverend Diane Ken or Patrick or myself or any of the practitioner students for that. But there's a fourth step and it's thanksgiving. And the reason that we use that step, one, well, what I feel, and I'm sure everybody may have their own rendition of this, but is that we give thanksgiving for something when somebody gives us a gift that we already had, and actually Reverend Diane said it beautifully in that quote she read by Ernest Holmes, that it's just ours to receive, I think is what you said, that everything's already here. Now, people sometimes find that hard to believe because they might be having issues in their life and they don't believe that it's already here. But the truth is, it is already here. We don't, I mean, if you look out into the world, if you just go to Costco, everything's already there. <laughs> if you have <laughs> right it's there it's sitting on the shelves and it's there we don't have to create anything we're actually co-creators and our co-creation comes from us accepting and receiving what's already there so one of the reasons we use spiritual mind treatment is to remind us of that and to open our the avenue of our minds and our hearts so that we can receive because sometimes we don't receive for different reasons. But it's never really anything, even though we think it is, and one of the things we teach in this philosophy is 100% responsibility. Even though we think it might be other people's fault, it really is us. Not our fault, but it's us opening up to receive. And it's a practice. That's why the science of mind and spirit is not, a, like I said before, it's not a religion. It's a practice. So we get to practice what it feels like to receive. Because it's a, it's a feeling universe. Everything is based on feeling. All our energy draws things to us by our feelings. And so if you kind of like check in right now and go, what am I feeling? And then you look out, you'll see that what you're feeling is what you're seeing. So if you don't, if you're walking through life and you really don't like what you're seeing in your world, in the world in general, you have to change how you feel. Because as you feel, you're gonna draw things to you that are bigger and better and more beautiful and more loving if that's what you want. And I think everybody wants that, right? Wants to have a big, beautiful life so it comes from feeling, the energy of our feelings. We can't create, I think Einstein or someone said, that we can't create things from the energy that, that created it. We, I mean, we can create something new from the same energy that we're feeling. So in the science of mind, I have to tell you this, that we have um, kind of a thing called the four corners of life. It's like, a ta I, we think of it as a table and legs of that table. Like one corner of our life is maybe our relationships. The other corner of our life is our wealth. The other corner of our life is how we creatively express. The other corner of our life is our health. So sometimes what happens is one of them gets off balance. Well, I'm going to tell you a little story. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I was in a play once called Annie. Remember Annie, the play? Everybody, if anybody this had kids, I, ha I had to watch it over and over on TV because my kids were just like, play It's a Hard Knock Life over and over and over <laughs> again, and then dance around in the basement singing it. But anyway, I was in the play itself, and I played um, um, Frances Perkins. She was the Secretary of Labor for uh, Roosevelt. And um, during the scene tomorrow, everybody was up singing, and Annie was there, and the table that we were sitting at fell apart one of the legs just broke and it was it was the leg right by me so we couldn't have the table i mean i couldn't have that nobody really maybe noticed it besides me because i was standing on that corner <laughs> so i couldn't have the whole table fall apart during the performance so i started to hold it up with my leg and <laughs> i managed to hold it up all the way through to the because that was like the end of the first act and then you know the stage cans come in 
and fixed it. But the point I'm making is like, sometimes we think we're holding up the table. It was really hard for me to hold that table up with my leg. You can only imagine, right? While everybody else is singing and dancing. So <laughs> sometimes we do that in our life. We think we're the ones holding up whatever it is, our health, we're the ones holding up our money, we're the ones holding up um, you know, our, um, what uh, the other things I mentioned, creative expression, our relationships, all those things. We're like, we're going to make it happen and we're going to hold everything together. And then sometimes we sacrifice things one for the other. We think, oh, well, uh, if I, I, uh, I'll sacrifice my money, but I'll give up this. I'll sacrifice my money for health even sometimes. I'll do this, I'll do that. We make trades with ourselves and compromise ourselves. But in reality, all the things work together and our life works together perfectly if we allow it to. And like we said at the beginning, it's already there. So what happens is we just have to get ourselves in alignment with what's already there. And you're probably going, well, how do I do that? How do I do that? How I do it is I work on remembering who I am every single solitary day that I am a divine presence, that I am blessed, and I am grateful for my life, every part of it. And when something goes askew, I look within and I go, oh, I don't like what's happening right now. What do I need to do about that? No, I don't need to do anything. I just need to remember who I am. And then I, and then I do my treatments. And what my treatments do, like I said before, is they open my consciousness up to a higher way of thinking they change consciousness. And when we change our consciousness, because the thing that's holding our table together is our consciousness. And when it's weak in any of those areas about something, and then we're basing it on what's happening on the outside, then we just create more than what's of what happens on the outside. So you can't turn it around. It won't work. You'll just, if you keep looking to the conditions that are happening and think that you can change the conditions, you can't. You only can change your perception and your consciousness about them. And like we sang in our song, and know that nothing's going to harm you, not while I'm around. And that meaning that presence that's within you that guides and directs you in every single solitary moment. How does that feel? Yeah, right? It feels to me like very peaceful that I don't have to I don't have to worry so much. I don't, and, and just taking it to today, I, I see so many people being like, doomsday is happening and all this stuff. That's not true. Doomsday doesn't happen out there. It, can ha it ha starts in here, if that's what you want to spread into the world. But we know better because we know who we are and love. It sounds like a cliche, but it is the answer, but it's got to start in our own worlds. It's hard to love people, like you know, Jesus said, love your enemies. It's hard to love people that you are hard to love <laughs> when you can't even love yourself or the people close to you. So I'm just inviting you this Thanksgiving, as you set your table, if that's what you're doing, to think about that. Just think about those four corners and think about how much they're your corners and they're your life and you have all the power and all the glory and all the opportunity to create them any way that you want to create them by going within and remembering who and what you are. So I thank you for being part of Center for Spiritual Living Kauai. It's hard to believe we've only been here for three and a half years and I look out and this started with just a person drawing something on a piece of paper and saying, I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to just put my consciousness there and I'm going to move out from that place. And what happens is there's a universal law that backs whatever your dream is. This is a time for dreams, guys. This is a time to bring our dreams forward, to bring our purpose forward and stop giving ourselves excuses for not letting them happen. Bring them forward. We each, like Patrick said last week with the thumbprint that we all had on the cards last week, we are unique and we have everything it takes within us, and that thumbprint is the reminder. It's the reminder of who and what we are and that we're here with our own divine gift to give, and that gift is love expressed through us. So thank you, and thank you for being here, and 
happy Thanksgiving, and I just love you, and I'm appreciative of each and every one of you and what you give to the center, and just by being here, and I know we're raising consciousness, so mahalo, mahalo, mahalo nui loa from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Mm. And <laughs> I can't deal with it yet. But <laughs> I just want to stay in the moment and enjoy every moment of Aww. Michael and Carrie yeah. while they're here. Thank you. And knowing that we're connected forever, right? Mm -hmm. In the table of life. Yeah. So it's all uh, good. Patrick and we gave us free reign to play any songs the last couple of times. <laughs> oh, so okay. We're in for a treat, so, I'm uh, sure. Uh, you guys when like did that, that happen? I was just curious. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, almost any song. Uh, so the other day we were going through songs and the song came on the radio or uh, just I saw it on my scroll on YouTube and I'm like, oh, right. it reminded me of uh, my time with my mother. And if you guys know our mothers are very important to us without our moms. I mean, they're the heartbeat of us. Right. Right. Yeah. So I heard this song and it's it's crazy. I'm like, can we do that at CSL mm -hmm. Quiet? And Carrie's like, Patrick said it. Okay. Um, the song is called right. Dust in the Wind by Kansas, I'm right? I'm sure you all know right? Dust in the Wind. So right. it's, a, it's <laughs> interesting for this place, but we're going to bring a spirituality yeah. part of it to you, this song. But to me, this song yeah. is just a reminder to live in the moment in each place in your heart and just to be free. We're not just dust in the wind, but we are stars in the wind. It's, so when you hear dust, think of us as starlight in and the wind. And like Rita was saying, all your worries, take your worries and just boom, they're dust in the wind, right? So, okay.
My, my, thank you so much. It's just one of those days, isn't it? That you feel like get a little hot chocolate, curl up in under the covers and all that stuff, but I guess that really wouldn't be really, really good right about now, would it? So, um, but it is one of those days, and the one thing that I just know about uh, myself, at least, is that I have learned through time to, whatever is being felt, to just have the courage to land whatever is happening. It's called flexibility in some people's worlds, but I just know that rushing through emotions, rushing through your feelings to something else is, um, doesn't usually work. And I think that the holidays do bring up a lot for a lot of people. I know for me they do. You start to think of Thanksgiving's gone by and some of them you're like, thank God they did. And the other ones you're going, wow, that holds a really, really special place in my heart. And it's so nice to be here with family. And I was thinking of this big dinner table, you know, however you want to imagine it. I, I think, and I've told you many times, I come from royalty. Not the royalty that I was raised with, because actually I had a modest um, upbringing. That's a nice word, isn't it? Modest. Um, but I think of this idea of sometimes that we're looking at the feast of life with our nose up against the window. Like looking in at it. Going, I'd love to sit there. I'd love to be a part of that. And yet, we're looking through a window at this big table, this big banquet, this big feast called life. And still I stand behind the window looking in and thinking that might be for them. Or then I make up excuses why I don't want to be them. I've done that before, just so you'll know. Make up excuses for not wanting to be them because a part of me feels as though maybe I can't really have it or be a part of that. And that doesn't work for me any longer. Cahil Gibran says this, and it's just, sometimes I just wish I was that kind of poet that just has these words that when I was a kid I would be like, what? But now they're just like music to my ears. It says, all our words are but crumbs that fall down from the feast of our minds. Yeah, it deserves to be read again. All of our words are but crumbs that fall down from the feast of the mind. Yeah, it's that whole idea that, yeah, words, 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 words. And I love words, and I use words a lot. But there is a also, I, there comes a time when I realize what I really come from. And that's that feast of life that has given me everything. That I love these questions. I'm one of the, these type of people, just because you asked, um, that I love to ask myself questions. <laughs> it's true. I love this. This came up for me. Am I waiting to be invited into life's feast? Did my invitation arrive and I forgot to look at it? Do I feel I deserve to sit at the table of life and the table of good? Am I waiting to see what crumbs will be left for me when everyone else is done feasting? Yeah, kind of a gloomy picture if you ask me. But I'm here to spread joy. Um, what I got from that whole questionnaire is that I don't need any of this. And I, and I also don't need to ask any more questions. Because I already belong at the feast. I already belong at the table because of who and what I am. And as I belong there, I know you do too. And this has nothing to do with materialistic except that it does. No apologies for wanting the stuff of life. The stuff of life is the God of life. Everywhere, everywhere is God. God in action. God everywhere at the big feast. So I was thinking this is kind of a two-parter for me. And I put the truth, I am having an ongoing seat at the table of good. I come from divine royalty. I set my own table with the delicious things of life. 
Ah, what do you want to set at your table? My table will look different from yours. I want to set safety. Security, isn't it delicious? Personal security, divinity, prosperity, the four corners, the four table, the four legs on the table. That's what I want to set at my table, but most of all, what I want at the, at the head of my table is love. And I was thinking about gratitude. Yes, I love Dean Inge says, life is a feast. Don't give up from the feast of life. Don't get up from the feast of life without paying for your share of it. Read it again. Life is a feast. Don't get up from the feast of life without paying for your share of it. Now, doesn't that feel contradictory of what I just said? That's because you're thinking that paying the price is struggle. You're thinking that it means suffering. Paying the price to me, and I'm sorry if I said your, because not everybody was thinking that. So here's the deal. The price that I pay is in Thanksgiving. We've been talking a lot lately uh, with Michelle, especially we've been having this, are you a go-giver? I remember being a go-getter. My mom used to say, oh boy, he's a go-getter, isn't he? That's a compliment. He's a go-getter. He's out there getting, 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 right? Whew, I'm a go-getter. Mama's proud. Are you a go-getter? You're just laying around all day. No, I'm a go-getter. God, it has such a different meaning to me now. But have you tried to be a go-giver? A go-giver. Whenever I feel like my table doesn't have enough on it, it's because I'm not giving. And someone said the other day, they said, but I give so much. And I believe that. I feel like I give a lot. How, how could it possibly be? That's because we're making bargains. We're not giving to get. That's what they do in tithing. I'll give you 10%. Now give me back 100 What kind of banking is that? You give, you give because you can. And every time I fill my table with giving and I do something for you that makes you so excited about life that you move on, something I say today, something Rita says, some music that appears today and that you don't keep it inside of yourselves and you go out there and you give it. We're at the table of life. Forget the notes. There is no end to the table. The feast is forever. It is life. Here he goes. Here he goes. Yeah, you know what happens when I start to, oh. That Michael Beckwith comes through me every single time. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's going, Patrick, don't hold back with the feast of table. Let everybody know where they're at today. <laughs> We're not sitting here. Can I hope I can get that? I hope I can get that or don't get that because that means that you're materialistic and you're not spiritual. That is hogwash. Where do we even get that name? Hogwash. <laughs> I'm done with it. I'm done. I don't want my nose up against the window anymore. I want to go through it. That's what we're about. There is nothing. Someday we're going to be this beautiful dust in the wind. But before I get there, I'm going to dine at the Feast of Life. And everybody else, we cannot keep it in this room anymore. We have not going to come here and get all of our goodies and feel good. I want you to feel uncomfortable today. I want you to go, oh, this is making me really uncomfortable. Am I giving enough? Oh, no, blame, blame. No more blame. If you're not giving, give. It's not a real big rocket scientist here thing, mind. What is going on here? If your life isn't working for you, it's because you're holding back. If you don't have enough love in your life, give more love. If you don't have enough money in your life, give an extra dime. Not because it's charity. I don't want your charity. I come from royalty. I don't need your charity. I need your inspiration to go out from this room and go out through those doors and let people know that they're magnificent, that this is not a secret, 
that this, this new thought, this science of mind and spirit, is not something to be ashamed of. It is something to embrace, to embody, to live. That's what we're doing here. And yes, it feels good, and the pumpkin pie is good, but there's more than that. <laughs> there's more than that. I'm excited. I don't want to live anymore with my nose up against the window. Not when I am, thank you, when I am a king. You are kings and queens. You have gifts of music. You have lots of gifts. Stop hoarding them. Give them away. We are no longer hoarders. We are givers. Whew. I'm going to land here for just a moment, if you don't mind. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie and Michael, we don't want them to go. But stop it. Give them, no, no, oh, I don't know. I hope you have a good time because uh, now what's going to happen with this? No, go, man. Enjoy yourselves. Go rock the world. Go, go to Vegas, man. Go to the strip and let people know who you are. No more. No more morbidity, as Ernest Holmes would say. We got something to celebrate. It's Thanksgiving today, man. The table has been set, and every one of your names, and you don't even need an invitation, because let me tell you something. We're the ones inviting. We're the inviters. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I don't know about any of you. You may not. Whatever you're feeling, that's really okay, because I feel damn good right now. How do you feel? Let me know how you feel. <laughs> and so it is. So it is. Namaste. <laughs> Woo! I love living with him. <laughs> <laughs> he says that now. <laughs> uh. So this is our time of affirmative giving. Ah, how, how appropriate. <laughs> and let's just talk for one brief minute. I promise not to go all Michael Beckwith on you. I promise not to do it during giving. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, so this is what I know about giving. It is like the most uncomfortable part of a service because this is what people want you to do. They want you to kind of bypass it. Unless you're gonna, we had a, we had a uh, minister and Reverend Diane's doing it right now. She said, I'm going to put my $10, my $5 on my chest and let everybody see it. Because this is what it's about. And I know a lot of you, you give and you, you know, let all that shame. Hello, open the door. Whew. Okay, it's not about that. What this is about is consciousness. But we also have to stop apologizing for money. It's not really an evil thing that's chasing us. What it is, is it's a form of exchange. Aloha. Aloha. And so what I wanted you to know is that every single, and I love it, I, we had a penny the other day, and I just, mm, I just blessed, I know you're not supposed to kiss money because it's dirty, but I don't care because it's not dirty to me. <laughs> I, all I know is that this is an opportunity to give. So this is what I do when I feel like I can't give because I had a little kink in my hose the last couple weeks. Have you ever had that where you're holding back a little? I just said, well, maybe I'll just give a dollar more. Maybe I'll give a little love, a little extra love that I wasn't. Because I was finding myself holding back. Have you ever done that? I was like, oh, no, I can't hold back because what if there's not any more? Now, we all know that that's over with because I just spoke about that. So today we're going to give our love. So whatever it is, oh, just give it with love. Give it with power. Give it with absolute conviction. And if you're afraid of something, put an extra penny, put an extra dime. Stretch yourself just a little bit, but most of all, stretch yourself to one another in your consciousness. I love you. So we have a, oh, an affirmation that I put in very little, very little okay. font. So shall we read this together? <laughs> my, today I meet, I meet my, my abundance. abundance. My, my abundance, abundance is forever expressing itself to me and through me. I can now see, hear, and feel it in and around me. It fills me with great surge of life. I share my abundance today. 
knowing there is always more and more. I share it, and it is returned to me multiplied. Did everybody get the multiplied? Hit it. <laughs> I see you. You see me. We gather today to set our hearts free. We've come to shine, shine, shine. We've come to shine, shine, shine. And live in gratitude. I gotta breathe in this moment, breathe in this life. Breathe in this moment, breathe in this life. I give thanks for life, for the air that I breathe, to live abundant Breathe in this moment, breathe in this life. Breathe in this moment, breathe in this life. I give thanks for life, for the air that I breathe, to live for the consciousness in this room, for the, the money in these baskets. I'd say thank you, thank you, thank you. Mahalo, mahalo. I know it goes forth to heal, to prosper, to bless. It is God in action in every moment, and I know it comes back multiplied abundantly to each of us. As we give, we do receive. And I say mahalo to everyone. Mahalo, mahalo from the bottom of my heart. As I say, and so it is. Breathe in this moment, breathe in this life. Breathe in this moment, breathe in this life. I give thanks for life, for the air that I breathe, to live abundantly, to live abundantly. So it's Mr. Everett thank and you. George. I want to give great gratitude for George. He stepped into leadership with Janice to be in the youth center. Yeah. And Ooh, we've done everything to help him, to, and he's so <laughs> grateful to do it. And in fact, when we have our school, he said he wants to be the principal, so I'm going to hold him to that. <laughs> uh, and he looks like a principal, too, does he not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, well, we have so the first I guess pupil here. So he has his first pupil. Do you have something, uh, anything you want to share with us? No. George, you want to share George, something with us? Share for him. Okay, he, we did the parable of the sower, and uh -huh. where he finally went and did some good soil, put <laughs> some put some seeds in there, and he's uh -huh. going to show that it's going to come up abundantly. Oh. <laughs> you got to plant the seed first. The Give it up for Everett and George. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, wow, okay. wow. So we also, I noticed that we also, this just this little piggy bank type thing and just a little additional thing this is being redone right now not not the actual but just more vibrant colors and just something that thanks i just to wanted ron to share with th thanks to ron but what we've decided is that it's been a little flat so what we've decided in our meditation rita and everyone in our committees that we're going to start looking from the inside of this out and that's how we manifest if we just keep staring at something that's flat then it just becomes this right but I want to get in there and know what it's going to feel like to have our feet in that earth, feet in that dirt. And you know, if I keep channeling Michael Beckwood, we're going to be, uh, <laughs> we know that that's going to happen within a very short period and, of time. And with that in mind, we've put a creative team in place that's helping us, leaders that are, um, are, are organized to lead committees to help us to get to this vision. And they are going to be asking for volunteers. And I know that it's, it's just going to unfold perfectly. And we've already started. Mm. We started, do you notice anything different up here? We started. <laughs> we started with a new tablecloth. We started with um, a little table over here to make it look a little bit more 
elegant to the camera. But then mostly. I can't whisper <laughs> to Rita during the actual. <laughs> <laughs> don't you mind what's going on? Anyway, we're just starting where we are, and we're moving and moving right. through it. So. so this is our funding, our our fund for that. So we just keep putting stuff in it, and we're just building. And we haven't counted it lately. Uh, Last time we counted, we beautiful. had four hundred bucks, I think. So that's good. It's the beginning. There we go. Yeah. All right, ready. And if anything's come up for you, which I'm sure it might have. Um, there is what we call our treatment box, and we all know that what's so great about that is that you just put a little something you want a little extra knowing for, and um, we can do it all together, but what happens is um, on Monday, Rita and I go through them, and we just add our wonderful knowing for you. So if something has come up, just put in the yes box, and the reason we call it yes is because why? Mm. Yes. Universe says yes, it it's already says done. Yes. It doesn't there say you go. anything else. So before we do this, can we just sing happy birthday? Yes. Since it is, do you mind? I'm tired. And anybody sing. that's on live stream, if it's your birthday, because I know birthday. a few All of you are. All the birthday people are in the room. Stand up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, stay standing because we're going to close it. Wow, look at this choir you back here. Join us? Boy, this uh, choir is getting... I feel a rap coming today, maybe, Patrick. Uh-oh. We'll see. <laughs> All right. what I know right here, here it comes. right now, is that I am yeah. swimming in gratitude. Are you swimming in gratitude? Yes. And I am so grateful. You notice those greeters that greeted you at the door, they were right there, Deb and Stephanie, letting you know that this is a place, a holy place, a loving place. And our meditation by the wonderful Reverend Diane, who took us to that deep deep place in our hearts I give gratitude. Michelle, Michelle, who does those announcements so beautifully. Those programs that are usually done by uh, you know who, Roseanne. But they're not here, where are they? China, China, let's give them love in case they're watching, I'm sure they're not. And my beautiful Carrie and Michael. I know. Don't take me there. Here Don't take me there. Here You're taking me there, there. aren't you? Uh -huh. So what I know Encourage is you. I'm filled with gratitude. Uh -huh. What am I filled with? Gratitude. 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 We have Everett. Little Everett. Little Everett. And Principal George. Principal George giving his stuff. Uh-oh. I'm feeling it. It's happening. I can't keep it down, no. Oh, yeah, he can't keep it's it down. Here he comes, everybody. He's going to sing his song right oh. here. Live and true right now. What are, you, what are you talking about, brother? What are you talking about, brother? Michael this is a special song you need to know. Here we got go. Live and true right now. Can we do now. it now? Oh, yeah. Can we feel it now? <laughs> Can we feel it now? Oh, who's bouncing now? That means that love. Love's taking over. Love's taking over. Love's taking over. Love's taking over. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. I am so. I feel good love. 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 I fe
little higher love. I'm talking higher love. Let's bring it in right now. Let's bring it in right now. Let's bring it in right now. Set that table. Set that table. Set that table. Who are you? You are royalty. Who are you? Let's take you home now. Bring me a higher love. Let's take you home in the heart. Bring me a higher love. Let's take you home in the heart. Bring me a higher love. Bring me a higher love. Let's take you home in the heart. Bring me a higher love. Let's take you home in the heart. Bring me a higher love. So higher it love. is. Can we all say that one time? Bring me a higher love. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bring me a higher love. Let it be felt beyond the worlds and universes. Let it feel it. Bring me a higher love. Stop right here in your heart. You know that. Patrick can read everybody. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Ron. And the CSL and Choir. Yeah, we're right getting here. Puppy Pie ready. Paul Bonavai, Louise, Harry, Steve, Jack, Jai, Paulo, and Sue Buckley. Reverend Sue. All right. It's all right. Puppy. Let's give that gratitude up for Ron and everybody in the hospitality with a pumpkin pie. Can we say mahalo? Mahalo. mahalo.